Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I think we can all agree that footies has been an up and down promo. Week one started really good, but ended poor. Week two, kind of the same. But this next part of footies is when it finally should get really good. Good guys, especially because all of the great cards should be coming back into packs. We're talking about team of the tournament cards for playstyle pluses, maybe more of those path to glories and make your mark cards with footies re-release team two going away and team three replacing it. We got to get prepared early because a lot of cards are going to crash in value. So we're going to be talking about that today. And of course, the newly released FC 25 beta that some of you guys are probably playing. I am not because I did not get a code. But we need to discuss a few things that were leaked from that and of course today's our favorite day for investing because the 90 plus tots SBC refreshes which mean tots prices are gonna be in the gutter today We're gonna talk about that and how high will they go up this weekend on this game? If you're excited for it drop a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new Let's talk about content yesterday first and it was a really slow day guys yesterday to be honest Another player SBC that I think none of us were expecting and not really in a good way we had had Marozin from D1 Arkema League 1. She is 5-star, 5-star, high, high work rates as a central attacking midfielder, center mid, decent play style pluses, and pretty good stats. You know, I thought I remembered this card because she actually had a showdown version a little bit earlier on this year that was 5-star, 4-star, and I may have done that SBC. Don't think it's in my club anymore, but that is her card there. It's 47,000 coins. If you want to do it, D1 Arkema fans, you're happy. She's probably solid in game, and she's cheap, so that's kind of all that there is to say about the Morozen card yesterday. Now, the SBC really that a lot of us were interested in was the expected 94 plus one of four, once again, player pick. And basically, my question here is yes, this is worth doing. It's worth a try. You might as well. It's two squads. It's a bit uh, expensive, actually. 89 and a 90 rated squad with one team in the season required. My question here is. After doing a bunch of these on stream yesterday and opening in, and they're on the second channel, you can see and check it out there, our grind yesterday from the stream. Is the 92 plus player pick just the better one to do? Because it's basically the exact same. Yeah, it's a one of three, not a one of four. But instead of an 89 and a 90 rated squad and a TOTS card, you just need an 87 and an 88. So really, I'm just going to keep doing the 92 pluses throughout the rest of this week because that seems to be a better SBC almost than the 94 plus. But of course, you know, maybe the weight on the 94 plus is better. But even after opening a bunch of the 92s and the 94s yesterday, really didn't seem like the weight was that different. So give the 94 a shot because, of course, it is. Um, actually, it's not one time repeatable. The other times it's been released, it's been one time uh, to repeat it and then it's done. This one's actually going to refresh in a couple of days. So that's nice that that's going to be there another time before it goes away. So it'll be worth trying just with the extra fodder that we have at the moment. Now, speaking of fodder, right, since tots were Required in this, the usual 8410, 8510 refresh. Todd's cards went crazy once again, guys. Man. This might be the last hurrah for TOTS cards going to 60,000 coins, though, I have to say. They were all the way at 60 to 62,000 coins. Crazy rise again yesterday, and it's bonkers, right? The reason why I say it might be some of the last big spikes for these cards in price is because... I think there's new cards coming into packs on Friday in the re-release and especially a lot of team of the season. So, Dewsbury Hall is 52k now. He was 62k as a lot of TOTS cards were yesterday after the content drop. That was the last optimal time to sell because now these, as a lot of people know, they're starting to sell them off already. They're dipping below 50k again or right around 50,000 coins. These are really going to get mudded today because the 90 plus pick or pack rather is refreshing and that's going to bring tradable supply to the market. But that's the first thing I want to look forward to with team three re-release. Now we have team three of footies right now. I think this Friday we're getting the team four of footies and the re-release team three. It's been two weeks since these cards came out into packs. But what I want to show you is specifically relating to TOTS cards last year in batch three of footies. We had so many team of the seasons. Now, of course, we didn't have the Path to Glory cards, the Make Your Marks, the team of the tournaments last year that we do this year. We had Tots, we had Shapeshifters and Trophy Titans in this best of batch number three. But just look at how many types of Tots cards are in here, right? 
so many team of the seasons not just on the top tiers we move to the middle to the lower part of the cards that were re released in packs you've got a whole bunch of 92 rated tots cards you go to the bottom you got 90 rated tots cards it was like a team of the season almost in every single pack during this batch 3 re-release and i just have to wonder if ea is going to release a lot of tots cards in packs this next time around as well of course with some of those newer players that we'll talk about a little bit more at the end of the video but that's the, the really big point that i want to mention right here is if you have tots cards i would sell them because today is the day they're going to drop now on the flip side of that this is always our investing day right and i do think these cards will be investable again today but just like we saw last week we got to see that big time drop right we got to see these guys get down to like low below 30k honestly is where i want to see these cards because if they're going to get supplied more this week i know last week i had hesitations about them being more invested in and maybe being supplied more but with the lack of of the tots being in packs like this same batch of batch two you know they went up really really good this last week and i think they're investable again this week as well even being more of them in packs i think they'll still be investable i hope they go below 30k and that they go to 40k or above this next week because they will of course still be in demand so that's kind of my thought on the whole tots card situation right now on the market there's going to be an investing opportunity today it's just too easy to be honest there's so many people playing this game and wanting to do the crazy SBCs that are out it's just going to be one of the easiest investments of the rest of the year unless ea adds some other sort of SBC or allow us to repeat the tradable tots SBC more than just once per week these tots cards are going to maintain higher prices and they will be fluctuating each week, each day to be trading with. Now, speaking of cards that are going to trade uh, really well each day, we're looking at that low tier fodder once again, 84s and 85s. They go down as low as minimum price 1.2. They go up to like 1.8, almost 2,000 coins for the 84s. And then the 85s, I believe, go from 2.5K all the way up to about 3.4. So some of these probably you can even trade with today as we'll have another SBC coming out today. That's probably going to require a TOTS card. It's going to be another guaranteed footies type of pack. So I'd watch that part of the market if you want to trade a little bit today. And we've got weakening rewards, which means those cards will be supplied a little bit on the market. If you want to get on some bids, you'll have opportunities to make some quick coins today as well. Now let's talk about yesterday's biggest news. That is the FC25 beta it is out people are playing it there's a lot of leaks guys and i want to discuss those but i actually do not want to show any of the footage that's been posted on twitter or youtube or anything like that on the video because usually ea is very specific about not posting content about the closed beta since it is a closed beta it's not meant to be released it gets leaked every single year so we're going to talk about some of the things that have been posted but i'm never i'm not going to show any of the videos if you do some digging you'll probably be able to find it but also a lot of those videos might be taken down today so that's one thing i did want to mention if you have the beta don't post videos don't share pictures of it because it might ruin your whole fc25 year if you get like a game ban or something you don't want to mess with that so that's just a word of caution word of warning from me but yesterday ea themselves did mention a new feature coming with fc25 a new highlighter replay option which gives us more in-depth ways to create replays save them much more uh in depth in terms of the, the whole replay situation so that's nice for creating those nice goal compilations or just kind of rubbing it in a friend's face when you score a sick goal on them and uh you know there's that so that was part of it from yesterday but really what we're here for is the closed beta conversation check your emails i will say this too there's probably more closed beta invites that are going to be getting sent out so i'm hoping to get one in the future i did not get one yesterday it's kind of a random selection process it seems when it comes to who gets emails and who doesn't but here's just some of the alleged leaks of fc 25 ultimate team that people have seen from the beta that's been at least tweeted about and talked about now these are not official pictures which is why i think it's okay to look at but let's talk about it first of all the premium season pass which ea gave us no mention of in earlier this week's deep dive of ultimate team it is rumored to be 500,000 coins or 1500 fc points to purchase the premium season pass. Now, this is wild. 500,000 coins. I hope that's not what it actually is at the very start of the game, because that's a lot. That's going to make EA lots of money. Uh, to be honest, am I really against that? I'm not against it in this way because this is kind of the same way as like Fortnite or other games that have battle passes that you buy if the rewards are worth it and it means less gamble packs in the store but let's be completely honest this is probably just something that's going to be added on top there's still going to be all the gamble packs in the store three four five six hundred thousand coin packs plus this on top of that 
Another revenue stream for EA is what this seems. But we're going to have to really see how this is implemented in-game with the new season pass being across all the different modes. And is it really worth it to have the premium season pass? Which it actually sounds like some of the things that even... Maybe those context quotes were taken out of context from actual EA employees, but some of the quotes that we saw made it sound like that the premium season pass would not give you any sort of advantage that's seemingly false the way that it's being talked about in the beta right now. So I know it's a beta. There's probably still things that will change and some of the stuff in there is probably not 100% accurate anyway, but that was really, really wild to me because I thought that it was going to be kind of like a time, you know, advancement that you were paying for with a premium season pass, but it actually looks like you're paying for different rewards and completely different options instead of a season pass so we'll have to see what that looks like when we get our hands on the real game also second thing is the market has added a couple of things specifically a average selling price is attached to every single card that you pack i find this really really interesting and actually this is something that i brought to ea's attention that i thought would be a really cool addition in the next year's game i'm not taking credit for this is probably was in the making for a while before that but I think this is really cool. The rumor is that when you go to a card, you'll able to be able to use the right stick to flick through the cards to kind of different like options and it'll show you the average selling price of the card. So that's really cool for a quick check on the price because we're always kind of comparing price on an item like this, but you never can get a really good gauge all the time of what a card's price might be, especially if there's pages and pages of the card. So if you can just flick the right stick over and see an average price of a player on the card and it's if it's updated accurately and correctly, that's actually pretty sick. So we do like to see that. One of the next things that was talked about was rivals rewards. There's only one option to choose. We went over that in the earlier deep dive of Ultimate Team this week. That was one of the things that EA added and we knew that was coming. Um, very interesting that we can't choose this year. But there's also a schedule for evolutions showing the requirements and days of release. And there's also a new tab in the evolutions kind of section that allows you to customize the evolutions with the new card types and everything that they talked about in the Monday release as well. So those are just some of the things that we learned from the beta leaks. Again, those are just leaks. Probably some of the stuff too from the beta that you might be seeing floating around on like Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Again, since it's a beta and a work in progress, there's going to be some glitches, um, but hopefully some of that stuff gets ironed out. And however you're supposed to provide feedback on the beta, like you guys that have a code, make sure you do that, whether it's like a forum or an email or like feedback portal, whatever it is, make sure you're doing a lot of that um, because that's the whole point of a closed beta is to get all the in foe back from the people playing the game so yeah go ahead and, and make sure you respond to that but let's get back to fc24 because i know a lot of you guys are probably playing the beta if you have it but a lot of us who don't have the beta the no beta club which is the title of the stream yesterday but anyways we have footies that is coming up this friday once again team number four we're expecting but most importantly the fodder cards that we keep packing day in and day out through the upgrade packs the player picks and the SBCs are going to change and level up once again. We're talking about Footy's re-release Team 3, which we already mentioned is, I'm at least I'm expecting to see some of the best cards re-released now. They even hinted, right? In re-release 2, we had Danny Olmo PTG, and we had a 4 place thou plus Shulmany Make Your Mark. I have not packed either of those cards. I already had Olmo in the club. But what I think this Friday is going to bring us is team of the tournament cards in packs and you might be like nate why is this such a big deal well because these cards have almost like look at kevin de bruyne from the minute this card went out of packs he was eight hundred and fifty thousand coins he is 1.6 mil he has doubled in price in the last month and a half that these cards have been out of packs because these are some of the most meta cards in the game with 90 plus stats in all categories and four play style pluses and a lot of them having at least a four star weak foot or I'm sorry a five star weak foot or five star skills and Bappe is still extinct at 15 million coins this dude Bellingham's over four mil this Teo Hernandez is four and a half million coins he was 2.1 million just about a month ago guys it is time to sell these cards even if you're packed like Kimmich right he's pretty popular out of these like upgrade packs and stuff if you have one of these tradable sell it Musiala sell it Fabian Ruiz Conte man this is a card that I would almost be certain about re-releasing back into packs this Friday he's gone from 400k 465,000 coins upwards of 700k he's probably going to be 400k or less if he gets re-released in packs even as soon as this weekend right guys we don't mess around with cards that get re-released remember Neymar yeah he was 2.5 million coins he got re-released in packs 
he's 800k. This card might be one that actually rises a bit out of packs as Team 2 goes away, but we're really most worried about these Team of the Tournament cards from either Culpa or from the Euro side of things, and even some of the Euro PTG cards. Like, if they throw this Ronaldo back in packs instead of the Team of the Year, he's going to drop. If this Griezmann gets re-released, which is very possible, John Stones. John Stones has gone up. He's doubled in price, too. He was seven, 800,000 coins, and now he's 1.5 mil. What a crazy rise for these rare PTG cards. Sell them. Get them out. Tell your friends that have them. Get them out. Get the coins because you do not want to be stuck with those in the next couple of days. So that's the big thing that I wanted to mention. But also when it comes to the footies cards, I think, guys, that we're going to have two more weeks of footies. I do believe so because we'll have this Team 3 re-release for probably two weeks, just like this was. And we'll have a new Team 4 of footies cards released. And then I think for the last week, they might just give us a re-release of some of the best footies cards and give us like all the footies cards, maybe not all of them, but a lot of the footies in packs with the icons, the heroes for that one last week. And then of course the batch three that is out before we kind of end footies as a whole. So this could make the pack grind really good though. That's why I'm saying this could be the best week of footies because usually that's kind of the whole point of building up through footies, at least for the best of re-releases. That's at least the hype of it, right? Because by the end of footies, we're all chasing these cards that are actually still very meta and very usable from the upgrade packs they all get super duper cheap and the footies sbcs will hopefully because they haven't been the best this year but the footies player sbcs will hopefully start to take off and we'll see those 98 99 rated players not just the icons that we're hoping to see right again we shout like the Ferland mendy sbc and the griezmann sbc from fifa 22 it's those sorts of player sbcs that we're really wanting to see and hopefully this friday they finally finally push the envelope a little bit on some of those player SBCs. So that's kind of what I wanted to bring up today is sell your team of tournament cards if you have them. And even some of the footies cards, I think, could be in for a price drop because if they're going to make these cards a lot more packable and a lot more accessible with a lot of them being re-released in packs and probably a massive team of Team 3 re-release, it's going to impact the whole rest of the market as well. So that would, that would be my um, suggestion to you is be very careful with the coins especially if they do end up deciding to re-release a footies team in packs uh, from team one or team two instead of doing a team four this Friday. We'll have to see. We'll probably get some more leaks and info on that. But I wanted to get this message out to you guys early because we know the prices are going to drop. Now, let's talk about Wednesday content today because there's, of course, a few things that we still have to cover. Firstly, we're expecting a guaranteed footies slash team of the tournament SBC today. Basically, just like they did yesterday on Tuesday with the 94 plus refreshing but adding in team three, we're expecting the exact same thing with this pack right here. Team of the tournament, footies team one, two, and then adding in today's pack team three of footies, not including the icons. This was pretty cheap last week. It was an 85 and an 88 rated squad. The 88's a little bit annoying, but that's pretty cheap, right? Cheaper than an 88 and an 89 or a 90 and an 89. This pack was also just added to the code right here. This is the one I'm expecting today. Should be be pretty easy to get done this is really your best chance of packing a really good footies cards like a graham hansen like a 99 Cristiano ronaldo maybe even 99 uh, usman dembele or from pong or just a high rated team of the tournament the team of the tournament cards we remember from last week especially like the copa cards like it was all Aramburu, martinez sarmiento oliviera crepo they were all over these packs but they're still going to be worth a try. They're going to be cheap and easy to complete because you could get an insane footies card today. So we open those on stream, of course. That'll be a blast to test those out. Also, the icon pick refreshes today. Again, that was a little bit pricey as well, 88 89 But is it really just the two team of the season requirement in there was the interesting thing about this. This will be repeatable once again, which may keep team of the season cards inflated closer to content. But then after content and a few hours later, they're definitely going to drop off. So that's a situation that we'll be watching today related to the team of the seasons. And of course, as we mentioned earlier, the 90 plus is going to refresh and the team will be tradable. So... These SBCs are out for 14 and 15 more days. I don't expect EA to change kind of like the uh, timer of how often they can re-release to really hurt the investment opportunity here until the SBCs go away. So I'm still looking to invest in Team of the Seasons. We'll be watching the price drops today. But again, I'm probably going to wait till maybe even Thursday morning to see how low the TOTS cards go. Maybe around Rivals Rewards will be a good time to get in on those two. That's kind of where they were at their cheapest last week anyway because they just kept dropping for hours and hours after that. Now we're probably going to get some other sort of player SBC today. We still have Crouch. We still have Cordoba who were leaked. We've seen no signs of them just yet. And of course, the player SBCs we've had recently 
or more confusing than anything else. So that's the content I'm expecting today. One last thing to mention that was a part of yesterday's news is UFL is actually coming out before FC 25. I think this was one of the biggest shocks in terms of the football gaming space. Yesterday, they tweeted that this is coming out September 12th for, of course, only PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. This is coming after the open beta weekend number two just finished up. You can pre-order it for seven days of early access. That's the only paid thing about this because the, the game is a free game, right? The beta was free. This game is free, but there is kind of a pre-order if you want to get seven days early access starting the 5th of September and also getting some uh, CP, which is like coins that'll help you at least maybe be a little bit ahead in terms of buying some players for your squad at the very beginning. Still have a lot of questions on this. Still have a lot of... I'm a little concerned about this, honestly, because it seems like they're pushing the game out for a global release a lot faster than a lot of us thought it was going to be. So we're going to be talking about more UFL related stuff on the second channel as the game gets closer. We'll be trying it on stream because this will be perfect timing to play this game right before FC25 comes out and just to at least try it. Even if you don't want to get the pre-order, just to, to play it on the 12th for like two weeks before FC25 comes out. We'll see what it has to offer, and especially if this game has more game modes than the one that we saw in the beta, because the beta was only like an ultimate team kind of-esque mode with the ranked version. Is there going to be a ranked version of gameplay, I mean? Is there going to be something else alongside of it? Are there going to be other modes? Is there going to be co-op? Is there going to be SBCs or objectives? Further on from what there was in the beta, that's the question that remains to be answered. So we're looking forward to that as well. Again, check out the second channel. We're trying to get more stuff going there, especially with the footies packs. It's fun and easy, but I want to get involved with UFL over there in the coming weeks. Probably be about a month away, of course, since we're playing UFL uh, seven days early from the 12th. So it'll be the 5th. Um, but we'll kind of lead up into that as the game gets coming out in September. But I wanted to mention that because that's still big news and information in the football gaming space. But our, our eyes are on footies still, and the content is to come in this game. I got to go win two games of champs to get my 11. I got the full um, Festival of Football and Tots Weekend League objective done. Two more wins for the 11. Take the rewards, and I'm gone. We'll open them today on stream. And I'll see you guys there. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new to the account. See you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace out.